you know, something about um, the bee collapse, calling the collapse disorder. If you talk to any beekeeper here in Shikoku, Japan, it's not happening here. And you have to ask, ask yourself, why is that? Why is it happening all over the world, but not happening here in Shikoku, Japan? Well, the big reason is they don't have a huge rice production here, which means they don't use systemic pesticides like most of other places in Japan, like Fukui. You can't find bees unless ultimately you, you run an apiary and you have bees near you, you're not gonna find any bees. And most of the places in the world is that way. Unless someone is keeping bees near you, you're not gonna find them. The thing is, the bees should be a wild creature like they are in Japan, especially like Shikoku. They're very hard to find here, but they do exist, wild colonies. And for example, my teacher has so many empty beehives everywhere that ultimately, like we were having a barbecue the other day and they swarmed right to a new hive. So he's got plenty of habitats all around set up for them. You know, there's one right there, just past one. So what we need to be doing is instead of trying to cultivate the bees for their honey, is really cultivate the bees to live in nature naturally, right, independent of us, um, and not manhandle them too much, because in doing so, we basically weaken them. It's like any animal. You know, you take a, a wild animal and you put it in your house, you domesticate it, it does, it loses a lot of its instinct. The bees can adapt back to the wild, but we have to give them the opportunity to do so. And one thing that I've learned here working in Shikoku, Japan, is that the bees can and will adapt, provided we're not poisoning them. And, and what people don't realize is it's the water that we're messing up, as long as the pollen and other things, but it's the water which is most important. And when you have systemic pesticides, which are water-soluble pesticides, ultimately you are destroying that very needed resource for bees. They use it for cooling, they use it for drinking themselves, they use it for feeding their brood, and they use it for feeding the queen. So if just one of their sources becomes contaminated, ultimately they have a big problem. So I've made it to my, my teacher's yard. There's the new hive. We're going to check on it.